Okay, I've got the differential up here on the table, and I've got a rag wrapped around with a zip tie on that end of the drive shaft. We've got a two takes 14 millimeter socket bolts right here. This one and this one, and you've got one, two, three four that take a 12 millimeter socket. So I want to take these out then we'll be ready to uh, split the case on this differential. Also if you'll notice I've uh, wiped out these seals. This is where your axle rides. Now when you wipe these out and clean them they do a little better job right there. When you wipe these out and clean them, you need to re-grease them. You need to put some kind of grease in them because if you don't, if you want to get hot, and uh, then you're going to have a bad seal. So if you clean those, make sure you put a little grease in them before you put the axles in. I'll probably wait and put the grease in them after I get the differential in. That way, if I stir up any dirt or anything, it won't uh, stick to it, you know. I'd just rather get it in there first. And if you can see back in there, no differential in the Pioneer 520. Uh, put this case on the differential. I really don't know how hard it'll be to come apart or what i don't know we're getting ready to learn this together you've got some uh, tabs here to pry with oh yeah it's already splitting apart all right then right here's one let's just see what it does here if I pull it. I may have to persuade it just a little. coming slowly but surely one thing you don't want to get in no big hurry here and try to keep the dirt out of it Must have some dials holding it together. Or 
I guess we'll keep tapping it until it comes out. Oh yeah. See, I was gentle with that. Here we got a little bit of metal shaving down in it. Okay, now look right here. You've got shims in here. See that shim? Make sure you put these shims back. This shims your carrier to one side or another. Make sure that you uh, remember where those came from. Very important. Make sure you put them back on the correct side. You'll have your differential, your ring and pinion gears shimmed the wrong way. Alright, I'm getting ready to uh, pull this carrier out and I'm going to set it right here. said than done. Nope. Alright, see this shim? This shim stays. I'm going to just leave it on that side. The other one's in the cover that I pulled off. Make sure there's no other shims. There's not. There's our differential. There's our carrier. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably clean What little bit of metal shavings I see in there. Can you see this? See in there? There's just a little, I'm gonna wipe that out. And also, actually I'm probably gonna turn this up and let that stuff drain out, but you can see right there. You can feel it and see it. There's some metal in that. I guess from the break in. Not much. Yeah, right here. See that? So I'm probably going to just take this shim and keep it with this cover and uh, lay a blue towel down and turn it up and let that oil and whatever metal drain out rather than draining down into the barn. cover to go on that side. I'm just going to turn this up. I'm going to lay the shim right here. That way we know this shim goes with this cover on that side of the differential. Alrighty. I'll get back with you when we're ready to start putting in the okay. We've got a pan right here that we're going to have to knock it down a little bit. And then after you knock it down, then you want to take a drill bit and knock that bird. The factory puts a dimple on each side so it won't let that pin come out. So we're going to first take a pin punch. We're going to knock that pin down as far as we can. All right. Then we're going to take a drill bit that's just almost that size. <coughs> I'm using the 530 seconds right now. We're going to try that first.
All you want to do is just knock that little burr from the factory. All right, now we're probably going to want to try to get any shavings that we just created out of there. Now we're going to flip this carrier over and drive that pin out. That's the plan. So we're going to flip the carrier over. Right here is the hole for the pin. I'm going to take my pin punch. I'm going to try to drive this pin out. See if it's coming. Nope, not yet. I might have to drill a little more. You don't want to get in a hurry. It's not worth it. Nope, it's not a coming, so I'm going to have to step up one size drill bit. Three sixteenths is the next one up on this Irwin set. I'm afraid that may be too big, so I may try this one I had earlier some more. shavings I got in there out. Make sure you get all these shavings off the best you can. I'm going to flip this carrier over and try it again. See if this punch will come out or this pin. Still not coming. And then we'll have to go a little more. Alright. I drove it back down in and we'll water it a little more.
I'd rather not. I'd rather go a little bit at a time rather than to go too much. That man, it ain't wanting to go at all. Nobody said it was going to be easy. real good punch is bending all right uh, I'll get back okay. to you I want to go the, and uh, see what size bed I need you can Maybe tell it's in the punched out a lot of it. the center pan slid out on me all right what you want to do now is take this center pan pull it out Then you're going to turn these, uh, turn your axle gears in the same direction and then it all fall apart. There's your small spider gear. Right there, you got a little collar or whatever that it runs in. And then here's your axle spider gears. Right there they are. Okay. Well, what I've done is I've took this uh, torque locker. I cleaned it with some uh, non-chlorinated 3M brake cleaner. I cleaned them, and then uh, per instructions, installation manual, I'm gonna put a light coat of grease on and then I'll uh, be back with you when I go to assemble it.